right, so in this video, we're going to be transforming the Party Wallop Collaborative Ninja Turtles Transformer action figure into the Party Wagon. So once again, um, please refer to my other review video right here, which is the actual review of the Party Wallop, as the, that is a separate video. But here are the instructions. So here on the front side, it tells you how to um, configure the Party Wallop in the universal more generic turtle basically it's telling you to you can stow the nunchucks in underneath the shoulder panels right there both of them you can stow away the size on the sides of the legs they just peg right in rectangular sized um, shaped pegs and then rectangular shaped peg holes here you can peg the katana blades on the side right there and if you look if you flip this up, the backpack slash roof right here. Let's see if I can, whoa, there go the katana blades popping off. There we go. You can stow away all four heads underneath here. They just peg right in. And if you flip these yellow panels open, you can see that I've collapsed Donatello's bow staff and it pegs in right there. That way you don't have to have a separate Ziploc bag of accessories stowed away in a drawer. They can easily be stored away on the body himself. And also this shield or this uh, van face doubles as a shield. When you flip up, which we will be doing here shortly, flip it up to transform him into vehicle mode, flip it down so the peg sticks out and you can peg it right into his forearm and it acts as a shield. Or if you want to display him, with it as a chest piece you can, just like that. The option is yours, multiple configurations. So I'm going to attempt to transform him into party wagon mode with the bow staff, all four, um, all four Ninja Turtles heads stowed away and the nunchucks stowed away in those shoulder panels as the katana blades and the sides will be able to be stowed away in vehicle mode and we'll show that here shortly but follow along as we transform him. The first thing we're gonna do is take the back or the roof, pull it back, the front part of the roof, pull out like that. We're gonna go ahead and tuck the head back in like so. Then we're gonna swivel the shoulder armor panels inwards like that. Turn it around towards the back, rotate this upwards, and then take those panels that are covering up the bow staff out like so while still looking at it from the back rotate the arms inwards both of them like that all right so i am finding out that the nunchucks are better to be removed so it is one thing or two things you're gonna have to stow away separately as we can so we can close this panel in all right so the nunchucks are no longer there behind these panels and it's able to close a lot better now we can take the rear windshield on the arms and then peg them in like, like that. Oops, like that. So after we snap these two windshield pieces together, now we can go ahead and rotate it. So we're basically rotating the hands downwards like so. Just gonna create our windshield piece. And you can proceed to peg this right into here by folding the arms up. There you go. So, so far it should look and resemble like this. Now go ahead and snap the front part of the roof down onto this part. And then go ahead and take your radar, pick it in up top. If you haven't already, go ahead and flip these up, both of them. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and flip these part of the legs over and forward like that, both sides. Flip the wheels to the sides like so. And then go ahead and fold in the heels. And then from here, you can press them together so it connects right behind this panel, right there. This will peg into there. 
So now you have those two legs locked in. From here, you can swing this part, which are the legs, up like that. Let me show you that one more time. So go ahead and swing it up like this. And then you can peg right here. Peg that shut. Also, the spoiler is going to peg in here and here at the same time. All right, so the next step is a combination of moves that I find makes it a lot easier. Flip it upside down like this. Push up with your thumb inwards so that they're kind of like in there as much as possible. If you fold these out, this peg right here and this peg right here, you're going to go into this little slit right there. Once again, this, that, and the same thing on the other side. But once you've pushed inwards, it kind of still doesn't want to go in all the way. It still kind of wants to bulge out. So what I find it to be easier is go ahead and swing this in. Pull it all the way forward because this can go like back and forth. Pull it all the way forward, both sides. Go ahead and close this piece up. Do one side at a time. And then go ahead and flip this down now. And this is going to basically act like a hook, this piece right here, to go and peg into there. So combination of pushing this panel in and getting it in that peg in the green section, like so. And then doing it on the other side as well hook and then push into the green it's a little bit better but it still kind of wants to bulge out and then the last step after you just make sure the the front roof is in just fold those forward push in to get pegged in there on both sides there you go and then the last step is taking the face plate and putting it on just like that and then Kind of reiterating the re-peg the front so it pegs into the front and on the top of the faceplate. And pretty much there is the uh, the party wallop in vehicle form. As I mentioned, you can stow away the size and katana blades in this form. So flip your party wagon or party wallop upside down. Take your side and it's going to point to the back and just peg this on the side of the side into both of those once again you want to point it backwards all right so the sides are in place now the katana blades so here are the peg holes for the katana blades right there so there's the peg and you want the sword pointing in like this you want it pointing inwards and peg it in so once you have all the katana blades and the size stowed away it's gonna look like this and I'll be honest it did take me a while to peg the katanas in where they're supposed to go but it's gonna look straight like this and it kind of has that appearance when you flip it back forward like they're actual automotive parts the, um, the ends the butts of the handles of the katana blades so once again once you have everything transformed kind of push down out from the top to level out the wheels and everything's kind of pegged into place and once you do, this thing is going to roll really good and the weapons underneath don't, do not get in the way. But yeah, this thing looks amazing in vehicle mode. It's very accurate and true to the cartoon party wagon. If my transformation video helped you to transform your party well up into party wagon, I appreciate it. If you hit that like button, leave all your thoughts, questions, and comments down below. And once again, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell. Thanks for watching, guys.